Hi, my name is Tamara Rubin, TamaraRubin.com, LeadSafeMama.com, and I'm here to show you cast aluminum cookware pieces that are lead contaminated. Now, these are both meat tenderizers. The other things that are similar to these are um, garlic presses, where they've got this gray corroded metal, or um, ice cream scoops, and those don't have to be old. They can be new. This is an OXO brand. It's relatively new. And this one tested positive when using an XRF instrument for over 1,000 parts per million lead. And this one tested positive for about 700 parts per million lead. And the thing is, you're hitting the meat with this, or you're scooping your ice cream, or you're squishing your garlic, or whatever you're doing, or you're juicing with your pre juice press. And this is cast aluminum, which is very often contaminated with lead, in large part because it's recycled. And they're recycling different kinds of aluminum, and they're putting together a bunch of stuff that might have lead paint on some of the components, and that's being mixed around into the slush that becomes this cast aluminum for these kinds of instruments. Don't use these instead. Please buy stainless steel alternatives. And I actually have not tested one of these with a lead check swab, so I'm going to try that right now. Um, here's the lead check swab with powder and liquid. The end is white. Um, and these may or may not test positive with a lead check swab because the lead check swabs were designed for testing paint in homes. They weren't designed for testing aluminum substrate that um, is positive for lead. But ew, gross. It, do it doesn't test positive for lead necessarily, but all that stuff coming off of it, it's kind of disgusting and that will come off on your meat. Anyway, so I do definitely want to discourage you from using anything cast aluminum for uh, cooking at all and at all possible for anything because it's a bad thing to have in, in the environment. I also wanted to show this. This is a um, ostensibly, I don't know, it's supposed to be silver plate or something. It's a spoon and it tested positive in the handle for over 15,000 parts per million lead. Uh, also a grayish metal. Um, and it's not all lead, 15,000 parts per million is a relatively small percentage of lead. I don't know if this will um, test positive using the swab either, but I wanted to check and I just wanna show, so the swabs are not intended for use with dishware. Even though this is positive for a really high level of lead, it's not testing pink right away, at least this one might turn pink over time. And just because the lead check swab is not turning pink on a dishware thing does not mean that it's safe. This is unsafe at a level of lead that should not be allowed in cookware, but is allowed because it's not intended for use by children. So it's not regulated in the same way as children's items might be. Okay, that's it for now. TamaraRubin.com, LeadSafeMama.com. There's over 3,000 posts and pages on my website for you to look through. There's a little video that shows you how to use the search bar there. You can find almost everything in your home or something like it to find out whether or not it has lead and safer alternatives for those items.